Let's take a look at the assembly for the Rainpu DG4 Pro's oblique camera. First, it's the body of DG4 Pro's. The camera is a white square, carbon fiber structure. The 542 megapixel full frame lenses have a parallel layout with a orthofocal length 40 mm and obliquey 60 mm. The minimum exposure interval is only 0.6 seconds. The small holes beside and on the side of the lens are the heat dissipation and dust removal modules of the camera. In the front, it's high speed storage module interface, standard with 2640G high speed memory. The data reading speed can reach 300 megabytes per second. The DJI Skyport adapter ring above is perfect for the DJM300. The rear J30J port with the shock absorber below enables the camera to be adapted to multiple UAVs. All the accessories in the packing case are shown here. If you receive any accessories missing from the product, please contact us immediately. Thanks for your watching. We will learn how to mount your DG4 Pro's PSDK oblique camera to the M300 flight platform. First press the camera unlock button and remove the protective cover. Aligning the white point on the camera and the red point on the interface and embedding into the installation position. Rotate the quick disassembly interface of the camera to align the up and down red dots. Camera installation completed. Tap the power supply, and then long press the power supply to power on. Open DJI Pilot and click to enter flight route. Click create route and select map aerial photography. Go to the next page. Click to generate the area you want to mapping. Click select camera, custom camera, add a custom camera. Enter the camera name and basic camera parameters. The focal length is subject to the focal length of the ortho lens. The minimum time interval is set to 1s. Set corresponding navigation height according to project requirements. Take off speed is set to default. The root speed is generally set at 7 minus 9m divided by s. Completing the action is set to automatic return. Click the three-point symbol in the upper right corner again. The return height is set to be the same as the root height. Height limit needs to be higher than root height. Click to go to payload settings. Click to display real-time data. Check if the RTK is working properly. Select the save button on the left side of the screen. The device real-time data is displayed on the controller page. Click the camera to try shooting after confirmation, test whether the equipment is working properly. If the device is abnormal, you may need to repair the device. Select payload setting, press the cam underscore repair, hold 3 seconds, button and press for about 3 seconds. The device automatically enters the repair mode. After hearing the tick, the repair is complete. Restart the aircraft. After takeoff check, upload flight route. The aircraft will perform flight tasks automatically. After the aircraft is started up, enter the public account Chengdu Rainpu Technology using WeChat and click the mini program at the lower left corner. Select the camera debugger program. Click on the Bluetooth. Click search. Select the Bluetooth device corresponding to the camera number and click OK to successfully connect. DG4 Pro's PSDK parameter adjustment function of the device allows for single lens adjustment. It can also adjust five lenses simultaneously. Click the Sync Settings button at the bottom of the screen. Multiple lens data can be set synchronously directly. We have preset the best parameters when the equipment leaves the factory. If there is no special situation, there is no need to adjust it for daily use. Scan the QR code on the camera for the download link. The registration code is generated after the Skyscanner software is installed. 
contact Rainpo to obtain the license code for the software. The device does not need to be powered on. The main controller is connected to the camera communication interface. Then connect the computer through Type-C data cable. Open the advanced tool in Skycanner software, CAM tool. Click on the link. The software will display the sorties of POS data. How much POS data there is, click POS download to download the data. After downloading the POS, check whether the POS data is correct and normal. After verifying that POS data is normal, select Clear POS. It prompts you whether to clear the POS. Click Yes to clear POS. When the device is off, remove the quick storage module from the device and insert into the groove of the quick memory read module. Connect to computer through USB 3.0 dedicated data cable. Use Skyscanner software to download, sort and delete aerial images. After downloading, use Skyscanner to uninstall the device. When uninstallation completed is displayed, unplug the Type-C data cable.